Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. I'm Brother Jay Mullane. I'm coming to you one more time with the Bible lesson. And I thank God for those of you who are listening to these lessons, whether they're coming from your pastor or whether you're listening to some other great teacher. You know what I said? Great teacher? Don't just listen to anybody, but thank God for you studying the Bible with us on these um, uh morning. Um, we thank God for uh, being able to continue to share in these Bible lessons, although we are not able to meet like we once did on each Wednesday evening, but the Bible lessons are still going forward. Right. And we thank God for this. The Word of God must go out. We, we realize that. Um, before I forget, I just want to make one statement about upcoming day on Sunday, the 21st of June, is Father's Day. And we want to say Happy Father's Day to all fathers. Now, I'll say more about that later in the sermon, but I want to say that now at this particular time. Uh, as we continue to comply with the recommendations, rules, regulations, however you want to call them, during this COVID-19 uh, situation that we're going through, we ask that you continue to be careful, be vigilant, watch out for yourself. Uh, if you don't have to go out, don't go out. But when you do, as we are being told, let's protect ourselves. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Do all those hygienic things that you need to do to keep yourself safe. Protect yourself. Uh, but now you probably have to, you probably have heard that the local church across town, away from us, have had an outbreak in COVID-19. And we are praying for them. We pray that everything works out for them. But let's take a lesson from that. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Continue to pray for one another. We Christians, I uh, think we have an emblem for praying for ourselves, praying for others, and wishing the best for others. Because we know one thing. For sure, God is still in charge. Uh, we know something is going on today. We know this is not in our favor, but we know that we have a God who is greater than all in heaven or on earth. So we ask that you continue to look out for one another, look out for yourself, yes. because God is still in charge. Uh, we continue continue to remind you. Watch the um, if the information that Brother Mobley, the Deacon Mobley put out. Watch, watch on your phones or on your internet or wherever you are, Yahoo or wherever you get that information. Keep up with it because he is keeping us abreast of what's going on, especially around our community and especially in greater peace. Amen. Now let's turn our attention to our Bible study for today. Today we have been led to, and of course I, I agonize over these things. The Lord, I don't want to get up saying anything that you are not giving me to say. I don't want to do that. I don't want to fill in space and time. I want to do what you say do. So I have been led to Psalm 37. If you have your Bible with you, you want to follow along with us in Psalms 37. I'm going to exegete a few of the scriptures in Psalms 37. I'm not going into a lot of detail, but just listen to what God says to us as his children. Because we are, you know we are God's children, don't you? Amen. Amen. God 
has already given us instruction as to how we should trust him. We have a brother whose favorite scripture, I believe, is found in the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, and he always quotes this verse, verse number 5. What do you say? Trust in the Lord. Yes, sir. With all thine heart, oh, yeah. and lean not unto thine own understanding. Then he goes on with verse number six: In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall do what? Direct, Direct your path. Mm -hmm. Now, in Psalm thirty-seven, if you want to follow us in Psalm Psalm thirty-seven, we're going to start with verse number. I'm going to start with verse number three. We come to that mighty word again. It says, trust in the Lord mm -hmm. and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. That was a promise that God gave to his people. But do you not know that promise is still true today? Right. God is still blessing. Yeah. Yeah. He blesses us in the way that he wants to bless us. Mm -hmm. Now, yes, he blessed Israel. Yes, he called Israel to be his chosen people. But today, God has called out the church. The church is the entity through which God is working today to reach the rest of the world. Amen. Verse number four, delight thyself also in the Lord. Mm -hmm. If you're going to have joy, have the joy of the Lord. Yes. And he shall give thee the desire of thine heart. Does God answer prayer today? You know he does. Yes. God answers every prayer that his children utter before him. And I think I've already talked about that. I'm not going back over that again. But in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, would bear that out. That God answers all prayers. He may not answer the way you want him to answer, the way I want him to answer the prayer. But he knows how to answer our prayers. Not only trust in the Lord, not only delight thyself also in the Lord, but also commit thy way unto the Lord. Whatever you commit unto the Lord, He can keep it. I said He will keep it. Uh, not only trust in Him, Delight in him. Not only commit your way to him, but rest in the Lord. I'm in verse number seven now. Rest in the Lord. And here's another word here. Wait patiently for him. You know, we're going through a trying situation right now, but you know, I do believe that one of these days when the Lord gets ready, this thing is going to let up. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to last always with us. God wasn't going to do it one way or the other. He would move it or he might remove us to glory. Mm -hmm. But rest in the Lord. Then there's another important word in verse number 8. It says cease from what? Anger yes. and forsake wrath. Mm -hmm. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Oh, that's a powerful statement coming from the Word of God. Because someone else will rub you wrong, you don't have to rub them wrong. Pray for those, even if they don't ask you to pray for them. Forgive those, even if they don't appreciate it. Because we are children of God. Be careful for nothing. Now I'm back in that verse I was saying where God answers all prayers. Verses 6 and 7 in Philippians. Listen to verse 6. 
Be careful for nothing. In other words, don't worry about anything. But in everything, everything. by prayer mm -hmm. and right. supplication, right. with thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Listen to what Scripture is saying to us now. Don't worry about mundane things. But by prayer, we have an audience. We have contact with our Heavenly Father through prayer. And make sure you thank Him. Someone said we need to thank Him before we utter what we're going to utter. Let's go ahead and thank Him first for what He's going to do. By supplication with prayer, let your request be made known unto God. Now here's the verse where I said earlier that God answers all prayers of his children. And we are his children. In verse number 7 it says, And the peace of God, yes. which passes all understanding, yes. you no know, you're trying to figure it out, shall keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. I keep saying this. I'm saying this for a reason. Because uh, I experienced it in my own life. It doesn't matter what I go through during the day. But when I lay my hand on the pillow at night, I say to the Lord, Lord, my life is in your hand. Yes, yes. If I wake up in the morning on this side, Come on now. great. I still want to be with you. Right. But if I don't wake up on this side, I wake up in glory. Amen. So Christian, we win both ways, whether we're here yes. Yes, or whether we're there. Right. I know that's good news. Yeah. And the scripture goes on to say, let me read verse 7 in context, and it's peace of God, which passes all understanding, mm -hmm. shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Yes. The psalmist continues in Psalm 37. He continues, he says this, verse 23, he makes this statement, the steps of a good man right. mm -hmm. are ordered by the Lord. Right. And he delighted in all his ways. In other words, the steps of a righteous man. Who is a good man? Who is a righteous man? Scripture lets us know there is none good. There is no one good but Christ. But you know what has happened to us? We are now in Christ. It's not our life that we are living down here anymore. We are in Christ. We want to let our light shine before this world. Yes. And we walk in this life. It ought to be a walk that's pleasing unto God. Paul writing to the saints make this statement, therefore, I believe in Ephesians 4 1, he says, therefore, I therefore, the prisoner, of the Lord, beseech you, beg you, or plead with you that you do what? Walk worthy of vocation wherewith you are called. We have been called for a purpose. And as we walk through this life, no matter what's going on, we should fulfill the purpose for which God has called us. Now back to Psalms 37. I believe we want to read verse number 24. Talk about this good man now. Though he fall, he shall not be in utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. 
We might get into situations that might not be good for us by our own choice or by someone else's choice. Trust in the Lord. Yes. Commit thy way unto him. Delight also in him. Yes. Rest in him. Yes. Cease from anger. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. Let your request be known unto him. Yes. And he'll bring about the desire of your heart. The word that God spoke to his people throughout the days of the prophet throughout the days of Israel those words are still ringing true today he told Israel through the prophet Isaiah said fear ye not for I am with thee is God with us today I am with thee be not dismayed for I am thy God. I will strengthen you. Yea, I will help you. Does not God strengthen us today? Yes. Does he not help us today? Yes. He said, yea, I will uphold you with my right hand. God says, I'll uphold you in righteousness. You no, know, we can never be righteous before God in and of ourselves. Our righteousness is found only in Jesus Christ. Amen. He had been made unto us righteousness. He has been made unto us the righteousness of God. That's why we don't go around bragging on ourselves saying how good we are. What good things we're doing. That could not be done were it not for the Lord Jesus Christ. David get ready to close out this song. He makes a statement in verse 25. I'm going to read it now. He says, I have been young and now am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken nor his See, begging bread. All right. mm. A brother told me the other day, and he's in here now, but I'm not going to call his name. He told me, he said, listen, I got more years behind me than I got ahead of me. Well. That is true. Many of us are moving on up in years. Yes. We're thankful for that. Yes, sir. Because God is keeping us. Mm -hmm. We are his children. Mm -hmm. And he watches out for us. Mm -hmm. He goes ahead of us. He leads us. He guides us. He directs us. And he will, when he needs to, correct us. Mm -hmm. Paul, writing I say Paul wrote the book of Hebrews. Some say he did not, but that's okay. It's still there. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse number 5, it says, Let your conversation, that is your walk, be without covetousness. And be content with such things as you have. For he has said, who the Lord has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. All right. That same author says this about our Lord. He says, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He'll never change on us. He may change his methods in the way he deals with us, 
but he'll never change anything that he said that he will do. I'm going to go through this thing that we're going through now, trusting in the Lord. And he will. I believe this. He will keep you. He'll bring you to your desired end. Yes. And all oh, thanks be unto God. For a Christian, our desired end is to be in glory with Jesus one of these days. Yes. I'm looking forward to that day. I'm not trying to rush myself off this earth. So Lord, lead me here as long as you want to leave me here. But just let me trust in you. Yes. With all my heart. And not lead into my own understanding. Right. But in all my ways. Mm -hmm. Let me acknowledge you. Yes. And you will. Bring to pass. Yes. What you desire. Mm -hmm. In my life. That's right. We thank God. Thank we bless God. Mm -hmm. We praise him. Father we thank you now. Thank you, Lord. For your glory. We thank you Lord for your honor. We thank you Lord for your keeping power. We thank you, Lord, for your compassion. We thank you, Lord, for dealing with us in grace and truth. Yes. Father, if there is anyone mm -hmm. living on this earth right. at this time mm -hmm. and hear this message yes. and do not know you in the part of his or her sin, mm -hmm. who have not yet been saved, I have received your gracious salvation. Yes. Father, we pray now that yes. you would allow them mm -hmm. to come before you yes. in repentance and faith mm -hmm. and let you know, Lord, that they want your salvation. Yes. Yes. We thank you for salvation. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, let them say something to you, Lord. You understand what they'll be saying when they say it. Yes, I want to be saved. We know that you'll save them. Yes, yes. We love you, Lord. Love For you first loved us. Yes. We belong to you. We are your children. Yes. And whatever comes upon us, you will protect us. Right. I'll go to my grave saying that you'll protect your own. Yes. Like no one else can do it. We thank you in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.